Hi everybody, it's Jessica the Dollhouse Curator and welcome back to the Curated Dollhouse. So I am sorry y'all, this is the third video that I have done today. I have gotten sick, so y'all are hearing this nasally awfulness again. Please forgive me, but I have, I was gonna do this in four videos, but we gonna hit this in three y'all because I'm trying to get this done. Um, because yeah, I am kind of running out of energy, not even lying. So this is our third curated scene for Halloween, y'all. So y'all know I have been saying I didn't know if I was going to do three or up to seven. I do have another area that we're going to cover in this video. So it will officially be four. And then I have another one that I will be working on after these videos are done, which is why I am struggling y'all to get these done because I will need um, some of the pieces that I have over here to go into the um, fifth scene that we're thinking about. So, oh, all right, y'all, this area right here, I just went very, very simple. I wanted to highlight my costumes for my adult characters. And then I found those really cute pumpkin lights. It's actually a necklace. And I thought this would be a nice kind of patio scene with just a little bit of extra and I could highlight some fun stuff. So y'all, this one is all about my adult characters and their costumes. So I have done a mod podge of stuff up here, y'all. So in the last two videos, I told y'all I did a couple of Jedis. So right up front, I have my Leto doll in his full Jedi um, apparel. Y'all, this outfit was super easy to make. I told y'all in the very first video that I did, um, I explained how I did it with my littles. Yes, that is Dollar Tree duct tape. Do not recommend it. It is pretty, but less functional than it needs to be. Um, but anyway, I told y'all that the, the little Jedi costumes were very simple to make. So for Leto here, I had got these boots in a multi um, shoe pack from Timu. I ordered two of those, y'all. I ordered one initially to get these boots. Got it in, only had one boot. I had to turn around and order it again. Um, and then I got it, you know, with the actual pair of boots. So I added that to some black pants. For Leto, I did a brown shirt. And then his um, little Jedi robe is kind of the light eggshell um, cabinet paper. Y'all know the little uh, shelf paper that you put down. So I thought that was really good. I made his lightsaber out of a thicker wood skewer and made it a little bit longer so it would be um, appropriate for his size. And y'all, we did that one in green with that iridescent, iridescent, oh my goodness, with the iridescent duct tape from the Dollar Tree. And I think that duct tape just adds so much to it. Just the light reflection. If it worked a little bit better, it would be great. All right, so that is Leto. Let me go to Craig next. So Craig is our Naturalista doll, y'all. Um, the guy's costumes weren't a easy fix either. It really wasn't like figuring out where to go for the guys or what I had in the collection because I was dollhouse broke and I didn't have money to go out and spend um, to find other stuff. So I decided to make our Naturalista doll. It is Halloween. He is playing a Ken doll for Halloween. I thought that was really cute. I had recently got the Rollerblade Ken. Um, I had took him out the box, but I hadn't took him out the outfit. I just put him in the collection bag because I was using the other one. I got two of those dolls for 10 bucks, if you don't know, on, at Walmart on clearance. Um, I got two of the dolls for $10 a piece. So I spent 20 bucks um, on those two dolls. But anyway, y'all, so I just used that and I put some pants with it because let's be honest, the shorts are a little much. And I thought that was cute to have my Naturalista doll get to be a Ken for Halloween. And then y'all, there is my Mr. Olivier. So y'all were actually supposed to meet Mr. Olivier in the second curated scene. But like I said, at the last minute, I, I felt like I needed one last character. It came together so beautifully. And he got moved up here, um, which I actually like better to tell the truth. But anyway, so Mr. Olivier, y'all, he is dressed as our Green Hornet. So I got the Green Hornet doll in my June flea market outing. 
And I thought that was fun to have Mr. Olivier Voldemort, for those of you who are not familiar with the curated dollhouse, dressed as a hero for Halloween, but still in his kind of color palette of his green. And then, yes, y'all, I did add one of the mini fashion necklaces to it just to give it just a little hint back to Slytherin's locket. Yeah, I couldn't help it. All right, y'all, and then the last character up here, and then I will show y'all the rest of the little scene. It's super easy. But this last character here is my superhero character. I do not have a true name for her, but I am thinking the Emerald Phoenix. Yeah, y'all can see the green. It makes sense. But I just, this is the Nakia outfit from the Fierce Collection doll, parts of it. I also used the um, little shoulder things from Okoye and put them on with some yarn. And then those are the Betsy Coleman boots. I have this fan. My aunt gave this necklace to my mom years and years ago. My mom was a big jewelry person. I love jewelry, y'all, but I'm not a big jewelry person like that. But I thought, what better way to use that as an honor to use it in my dollhouse? Because honestly, it's been sitting in that jewelry box for years, collecting dust. And now it is out on display in the dollhouse. And we have a couple of other ideas we're going to be using um, those for. But I gave her a fan. And then, y'all, I had this little rope gold fabric. I don't know where it came from. Reminded me of Wonder Woman. So we put that up there also. And this is my Emerald Phoenix character. I think it's adorable. I thought it was a great way to put a little superhero character together. And then this is my um, Brooklyn doll that comes on an athletic body. But I rebodied her onto um, a superhero body for this. And then, y'all, so this scene is actually them... In my little curated dollhouse, which this is just going to be uh, in my head, this is the annual costume party poker um, night. Yes. So they all put their little costumes on. They get together. They play poker. It is for charity. We'll just call it like that. But I thought that was a good way to keep the scene simple and to just highlight the costumes for the dolls. Um, I am still using my little Harry Potter potion. So I have my one over here that's blue. Y'all seen that one. And let me move Miss Emerald over here. And then I added some, just some little gold stuff that I use for the fairy wings, a little gold mesh into that one to give it a little bit of extra something. And then of course, this one does have lights also. There you go. And I just thought it was a nice scene where it was more about the costumes and less about um, the decor. Because like I said, y'all, when I went shopping in the collection, I had a lot of stuff. But um, knowing that I was dollhouse broke, I had to get very inventive on what we were going to do. Because I didn't have a lot more money to spend for Halloween. So next, y'all, this next area, again, is not a officially a Halloween scene as much as it is being set up for fall. Um, I was going to do this as a separate video, but again, y'all, I'm telling you, my energy is, is draining out of me as we go on right now. So I actually, yes, I'm talking and still showing y'all this other one because it's a story behind it. I wanted to set the top up or at least a little bit of it as a permanent space for my mini me Brooklyn um, after we did the magic school because I just thought it was adorable. Y'all also know I'm working on my bookshelf diorama and we are working on our storage. So Having a little permanent space for Brooklyn, I thought would be really cute um, and keep more of the stuff um, from getting destroyed and I could have it set up because I have plenty of space in the curated dollhouse to work with. So the first space I did for Miss Brooklyn, y'all, and we are here with my Rapunzel doll. I'm going to move her just for a second, but I will bring her black back in all of her glory. But the first space I did for Brooklyn, y'all, was a bathroom. So I used the shelves that I used for the potions classroom and just kind of revamped this area to be a bathroom. I thought it was nice. I used a lot of my Dollar Tree items. It gave it so much little dimension. And I just thought this was so cute, y'all. I wanted her to have just a nice little bathroom. Um, I had the tub. I had figured out how to do my water. See if I can get y'all up that high. Yeah, but I had figured out how to do my bath water to where it actually looks a bit more realistic. So I just loved it. 
So since I wanted to highlight some costumes, y'all, I went digging back through my princess dresses collection because I'm not a big princess uh, dress person um, with dolls either, but I have a few. And I had had Rapunzel out in one of the videos for the end of summer. So I went and pulled out her entire outfit and I dug out, this is the doll. This is one of my beautiful daisies and I call her my totally hair daisy. Yeah, she has all of that long, um, luscious hair. I love it. I actually hate it also because it's stitched in the ponytails, but it's so soft and she's a beautiful doll. So she is our Rapunzel queen in that outfit from way back in the 90s from my favorite Rapunzel doll ever. I went in, y'all, we had to take the crown apart because again, Miss Daisy got a lot of hair. And we did a little bit of finagling and everything. There's some pins in there to keep those braids up, but I thought she turned out beautiful. And I figured this scene could just be her putting on the final touches in her bathroom, um, getting ready to go to the Halloween party. But I thought that was beautiful and I loved using my Totally Hair Daisy to go with that and it tied into it so beautifully. And then y'all, this next area is still tied to Brooklyn space. But when I got it done and I got Brooklyn up here, she felt good in the space, but not for Halloween. So I wound up doing a little bit of last minute revamping. So y'all, this is Queen Rapunzel in that beautiful outfit. And then this is Princess Raquel. This would be a little bit of a play on Descendants, y'all. So y'all know Descendants 4 has come out with the Queen of Hearts and Cinderella and uh, Chloe and Red. Love the movie. Um, love the music. The dolls are cute. I am dollhouse broke, y'all. So I haven't got any of the dolls. And the one that I really... Um, I actually want a couple of them, y'all. But after I have looked and thought and looked and thought and I've been dollhouse broke for a while, that helps me really make a decision. The doll that I'm leaning towards getting this time is um, the Uma doll. Yeah, I think she's adorable. I love the outfit from head to toe. I think it would be the most interchangeable and it would give me a different skin tone, different articulated body in the dollhouse. All right, that's enough. But since I did um, Queen Rapunzel, I thought it was super cute to do um, Princess Raquel. I went through y'all and let me, cause over here I can get a better stand. Y'all give me a second. Oh my goodness, y'all all up there. Y'all gonna see the dust. Oh well, okay. Um, okay, so. All right, there we go. So y'all for this outfit, um, again, after I had the Rapunzel outfit, I already had that. I've had that um, dress and crown and pretty much everything it came with since I got that doll. And that's been probably over about 20 years ago. But for Miss Raquel, y'all, I when I was pulling out my Rapunzel outfit, I also ran across a, a holiday doll that I had. I think it's a holiday doll. Um... Yeah, because I've actually gotten rid of a lot of my dolls. Y'all know I go through periodically and I purge. I keep the faces and um, heads that I love. I keep some bodies if they're articulated. But for the most part, y'all, I curate my collection and only keep what I love. So um, I got rid of the doll, but her outfit was fabulous. And I started piecemealing some stuff together. And this outfit came out to be so adorable. So again, the skirt is a skirt from one of the holiday dolls from years ago. It is pink and black with the little checkering. And then it's got just a little bit of gold in there. And y'all this top, cause I went through and I pulled out a couple of things to see if I could make something beautiful with this. Y'all the top is from a rock star Barbie playline Barbie that my son got me a few years ago. The sleeves on this, most magnificent outfit are actually Barbie socks. So those socks actually come from the one of the extra dolls, y'all. So here's the thing. They came out with the extra doll, number one. Her look was eh. 
and then they did a Christmas five pack one year and they redid that number one dog. Her outfit and look was a little bit better. So that dog came with these as socks. And when I pulled them out and I saw that it matched that top, I thought it would work really cute as sleeves. I am using another Daisy. This is a Fashionista Daisy that has the little um, color in the hair. And I thought that was a really cute way to tie it to Rapunzel. She doesn't have as much hair as her mom, but she has something interesting going on with her hair. And then we tried to set this area up, y'all, in a little kind of Descendants theme color scheme for her. So we just got the white and gold and green for the royal. And then I pulled out a lot of white and black and pink with some stripes and colors and everything to just have in the background for that. So yeah, y'all, this scene was super simple. Um, it had to be, it had to be y'all. Cause again, when I went shopping in the collection, cause I'm dollhouse broke, I had a lot of stuff, but it takes a lot of stuff to set up multiple curated scenes for Halloween. But I really thought this was nice. I'm um, being able to put together a complete old um, vintage look with a new doll and then to use a newer doll and put together or to use an older doll and put together a whole new kind of glamorous look based on those and then they still kind of tie together. Oh, all right, y'all. Is there anything else in these scenes? No. So let me give you a back um, pan through. So there you go. You have Miss Raquel and her little bedroom area that I set up in that beautiful outfit. We have my totally hair Daisy in my vintage um, Rapunzel princess outfit in the bathroom that we set up. And then y'all over here again, we have our annual costume party poker night where we have Leto as a Jedi. Um, our naturalista Greg doll is playing a can for Halloween. We have Voldemort or Mr. Olivier for the curated dollhouse who is um, playing our green hornet so we could keep his green color scheme and then give a villain a chance to be a hero. And then we have a Maj Podge outfit, y'all, where I made my version of a comic book character called the Emerald Flame. Not Emerald Flame, the Emerald Phoenix. But all right, y'all, again, I am sick. My energy is done. I'm so glad I got these three videos done. Y'all will see me again. We will have at least one more curated scene for Halloween that comes up. I'll give y'all a full look at all of them. But y'all, I really had fun doing these. Um, the bottom part, I really went all out to give you like spooky and interesting and Halloween and fun. And then the top part, I didn't have enough to really pull off big, big scenes. So I focused on costumes and a little story, but I think it turned out wonderful. So, all right, y'all, I'm done. We will be back in a new video with a new concept. Bye, y'all.